morning everyone this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and I have gone out this morning but apparently it is the coldest day of the year so I did what I had to do I had a few errands to run and rather than staying out and doing a few other things I decided to come home and do some baking and I'm doing something that I've never made before and that is uh, meat patties and I've already prepared my pastry and it's in the fridge cooling down getting cold getting chilled and uh, I have put some of my ingredients together I am going to I'm going to use this little tool to make the uh, meat patties and what you do there is you cut the pastry to a little larger than this size uh, fill the center with the ingredients, whether you're going to make a pastry pie or a meat pie, I'm going to do a meat pie this time. Fold it over, uh, dampen the edges so it crimps, fold it over, seal it, and you should have a lovely little meat pie. And then I'm going to bake them. Now, um, I'm not really following any specific recipe. I, I am using one, but I never follow recipes. I change them up. And this one appears to be a little bit on the hot side, so I'm taking it easy on the spices. I'm using green peppers, onions, and garlic. I've got that all chopped up and ready to go, and ground beef. Uh, that's the main ingredients. Now, if I had jalapenos, I might put them in, but I don't have them. And um, I'm just waiting for the green peppers to uh, thaw a little bit more. They were in my um, freezer and I will chop them up. Other than that I've got my spices all ready and I'll go through the spices that I'm using and uh, then I'll show you how I make these. Oh and of course I have another pot of chicken stock on the oven as well. <laughs> okay I have actually already mixed up everything here. I've used uh, I'm not following the recipe as I have it because I'm not don't have exactly the same ingredients. I'm uh, changing it up a bit. But as far as my spices are concerned, I've got chili powder and I've got extra hot, so I went lean on that. Cumin, freshly ground pepper, salt, uh, chili, red crushed chili, and we want a good. Um, amount of parsley so I've used a second dish for the parsley. Okay as well as that I've prepared so far one chopped onion and three chopped garlic cloves and I've pulled out some of the green pepper that I had in the freezer. I'm just waiting for it to defrost a little bit more Then this will be chopped up as well and if you had jalapenos you can certainly add them, but I don't have them, so it's not going in. And I've got my uh, ground beef defrosting as well. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these up. Okay, so my pastry is prepared and it's in the fridge, and now I'm going to prepare the um, stuffing. So just a little bit of oil, and I use olive oil for just about everything, so I don't know if it's not necessary that you use olive oil, use whatever oil you like. And I'm going to cook up me my onions, garlic, and peppers first. Turn that down just a bit.
Okay, I'm just going to let those cook for about five minutes or so. Okay, they've softened up nicely. Now I'm going to add all my spices. And I did put all my spices together in a little uh, container, so I'm adding them all at once except for the parsley. We'll be adding that later. So. Ooh, I could feel the heat coming off these spices. I hope I can eat this. <laughs> I'm sure Mark will enjoy it though. Okay, now I'm going to take this out of the skillet and we're going to fry up some ground beef in the same skillet. Okay, I've transferred my filling to a bowl, or, or some of it. Now we're going to um, put the ground beef in here and get this all cooked up. Okay, recipe also calls for tomato paste and water, which I never use, so I'm going to use um, a cup of my tomato puree. If I can get this open, there we go. So a pint is about two cups, so about half a pint. And that should be the same consistency as, well, maybe a little more, as the um, required tomato paste and water. So we'll mix this in. And continue to cook for a few minutes. I'm going to turn the heat up just a bit. Okay, that is cooked in somewhat, so now I'm going to add the vegetables back in, the onions and the green pepper and garlic. Tony, don't throw it away. Okay, and we're going to add the parsley now. And I don't have fresh parsley, so we use what we have. We have dry. Okay, I'm going to turn this off, and now we want this to cool so that we could add it to our pastry. I don't know how I'm going to get it to cool fairly quickly. We'll probably just have to wait a little while and come back and... Uh, well, take it out of the skillet will certainly help. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can lift this thing. <laughs> and put it back in this bowl. Well, maybe start off just by scooping it out. Might help. Here we go. Nope, can't do it. It's way too hot.
Let's see if I can do it now. Okay. Put that aside and start working on our pastry. I guess I could try tasting this. Okay, that's good. Mmm. Oh yeah, Mark will like this. Oh, it's a bit on the hot side. Okay, so I've got my pastry uh, rolled out and I'm going to just use this as some sort of a, a measurement here just to cut around. It doesn't have to be precise. Okay, so there's my first piece of dough. And it gets laid in inside this little unit here. Actually, it looks like it should be rolled out just a bit more before I do that. Should have cut it a little bit wider, I suppose. Okay. Okay. That should do it. There it is. So it fits from edge to edge. And I've just taken some of the filling and I'm allowing the rest of it to cool so I've just got a bit here and I'm going to add a scoop in the center and let me see if I can show you how I do this okay so um, we want to moisten the edges here so that it'll stick so so I've just got a little bowl with a tiny bit of water in it and brush and I'm just going to brush the edges of this. Just to make sure that it's moist enough that it all sticks. And we fold it over. Press hard. Trim the excess off. Open it up, and we should have a lovely meat pie. There we go. There's one. Now I'm going to put this on a tray and continue right along here and make a few more. This time I'll bear in mind to cut it a little bit wider. Okay, here we go again. We've got our form. Let's see if I can bring the camera up closer so you can see it. There we go. Okay, so it's sitting in the form. Put a little scoop, a little bit more, as much as we think we can get away with putting it in there. Uh, moisten the edges. And actually I'm going to trim off some of this beforehand because I don't want to moisten it all. I want to be able to reuse those bits. Okay. Moisten the edges. Now, sometimes you don't even have to moisten the edges, but I just want to make sure I get a good seal here. And if you don't have one of these forms, you can just use a round cutter and then use a fork to seal it. But these forms are actually very inexpensive. And they either come in sets or individual.
there it is perfectly formed and put on my tray and off to the next one should be able to get another one here like that There it is. I'm just going to continue along until I've got this all done. Okay, finished product. I managed to make Two, four, six, twelve, thirteen of them. Okay, so I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 right now. And uh, I'm going to prepare an egg wash and give them an egg wash. And then I'm going to bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes apiece. And um, if I freeze them, they are going to have to be baked a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm going to bake them all. Maybe I will. I'll just bake every one of them. Okay, that's it for this. Okay, my meat pies are now out of the oven and they're cooling off on a cooling rack. And these certainly can be eaten for dinner. A couple of pies with uh, a side of either french fries or a salad or something of that nature. Maybe even some of my bread and butter pickles might go nice on the side with these. So, um, yeah, I'm thrilled with them. I know that I've tasted the filling. It's really, really tasty. So, um, yeah, either you can eat these for dinner or you can just eat one as a snack. Anyway, I'm really going to enjoy eating these. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.